Do you remember when public companies were putting Bitcoin on their balance sheet? First, we had MicroStrategy, then Tesla, and Square. Well, let's go take a little update as to how that's going so far. As we know, it all started with MicroStrategy in August of 2020. They spent just under $4 billion to date, and they've bought up about 130,000 Bitcoin. Tesla and Square, they've bought much less, but they still spent hundreds of millions to just over a billion and a half dollars to buy their Bitcoin as well. In a recent article on BlockWorks, we see that Tesla, they acquired 43,200 Bitcoin for about $1.5 billion. That's now only worth 844 million, which represents a $655 million paper loss. Now this is a minuscule part of their balance sheet as they have about 17.55 billion in cash and cash equivalents as of March 31st. Then we can take a look over at Block, which is formerly known as Square. They've lost about 30% of their Bitcoin. The company reported 8,027 Bitcoin, which they purchased for $220 million. It's now worth $157 million, which is $63 million in unrealized losses. Again, a minuscule amount as their balance sheet has $5.3 billion in cash on hand. And then lastly, we have MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy, which has billions of dollars of Bitcoin on their balance sheet, they're down about 36% on their Bitcoin. If we take a look and we compare these stocks to Bitcoin and the NASDAQ 100, we can see that everything is down. That's a function of monetary policy leading to tighter financial conditions. We can see both that Block and MicroStrategy are down more than Bitcoin, but Tesla still hugging closer to the NASDAQ 100. This isn't just these three companies though. As we take a look, there's a number of other businesses that have purchased quite a bit of Bitcoin. And this chart shows exactly how much they purchased it for and what their current unrealized losses are. As you see at the top, MicroStrategy bought $3.98 billion worth of Bitcoin. Now they are sitting on a $1.44 billion unrealized loss. Tesla sitting on about $650 million unrealized loss as well. And so if we take a look at all of the companies that have bought Bitcoin, you can see here in this next chart, if you take a look here, you can see that it's MicroStrategy, Tesla, Block, but there's also many others. Some of these are Bitcoin mining companies. Some of them are crypto related, and some are just businesses that want to hold Bitcoin on their balance sheet. Naturally, the haters, the critics, and those who have been screaming that Bitcoin is worthless, they're taking victory laps on the internet right now. But one thing should sit in your mind is these companies, full of thousands of employees, some with very large finance teams. They aren't selling their Bitcoin. Yes, they acquired Bitcoin and it is down in an unrealized lost position. They're underwater on that Bitcoin on their balance sheet, but none of them out of MicroStrategy, Tesla and Block have actually sold their Bitcoin. In fact, MicroStrategy has been buying more and Tesla and Block are simply holding it. Don't listen to what people say. Just watch what people with skin in the game are doing, and they're not selling, which tells me that they've got long-term conviction in this strategy. Now, of course, it doesn't feel good to have unrealized losses, and some of the accounting rules for public companies aren't exactly friendly in these situations. But what we know is that these companies, they all are led by people who have a deep conviction in Bitcoin as a decentralized digital currency, they went ahead and they took the capital off their balance sheet, they converted some of it into Bitcoin, and they're holding. You could even argue that these three publicly traded companies, they have diamond hands. They're gonna hold through the volatility. They're not selling, no matter how low the price goes or how big the unrealized losses get. And that's something that I think a lot of people in the Bitcoin community would commend. The conviction is deep and the thinkers are long-term oriented. Bitcoin sits on the balance sheet of many public companies and the largest purveyors of this strategy, they seem to be unfazed by the drop in Bitcoin's price. That likely will prove to be a great strategy over a long period of time. Bitcoin's volatile, goes up a lot, it goes down a lot, but over a long period of time, it continues to gain value against the US dollar. My guess is that shareholders over that period of time are gonna be very happy that their leadership went ahead and made these decisions, even if in the short term, it ain't looking so hot.
Hey you, did you like this video? Great, we make five of them a day and post them here on this channel. Make sure you're subscribed, like the video, and see you next time.